One of the things that I spied fairly early on in my tours around George's was the sign for digital services on the corridor. And so I'm meeting somebody from digital services having previously had a tour. Hi, yeah. Hi Jenny. Hi, my name's Duncan Larkin. I'm digital services manager responsible for the design, print and medical photography for the university. And tell me a little bit about your background and the sort of things that you get up to in digital services. My background's in graphic design, which I guess is where my passion is. Um, but digital services has, has tra changed dramatically in the time that I've been here. Um, traditionally, we used to be responsible for producing artwork for journals, whereas now we're responsible for producing full colour design um, work, anything from business cards, letterheads, right through to full colour prospectuses, brochures, and annual reports and finance statements. And I see from the machine behind us, which was whizzing along when I last yeah. came, uh, that you produce a number of posters. Do you want to tell us a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, certainly. Um, for the last 15 to 20 years, we've been heavily responsible for producing all the academic posters for the university. Um, last week was research day and was completely manic. I think we had 90 posters to produce in a 24-hour period. Um, somehow we managed to pull it out of the bag. We do run three large format printers. Um, it was a little bit stressful, um, but hopefully it was okay on the day and everyone got their posters. And I think something else you told me that people may not know is that we have an artist in residence. We do. Susanna is our artist in residence. She's a medical artist. And although she's not overly burdened with art artistic kind of work at the moment, there are occasional moments when she's pulled, pulled out to produce some fantastic surgical illustrations. Another hive of activity down here is the print room. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, the print room um, used to be located on the fourth floor in Hunter Wing, and two years ago we were relocated into Jenner Wing, into the basement, and we seized the opportunity to get a complete reinstall of the latest technology, Konica Digital Print Kit, which has proved to be really successful. The print room seemed to be fairly happy with their new, new toys, and it's busy printing student handbooks, certificates, the latest finance report's just been done on our late, latest technology. Um, it's proved to be quite successful. So for the print room, what you consider to be small volume isn't what we consider small volume. What's typically a small volume small item? Vo small volume, we would consider anything below a 1,000, um, whether that be a DL leaflet or a A4 32-page booklet. Anything over a 1,000 becomes more economical to review how that, that's produced. Um, but by the very nature of most of the uh, publications we print in-house, they, they are well within our capability of keeping in the print room. Okay, thank you.